welcome students so in the last video we had understood how to work with the themes and schemes if you have not watched the video then please watch the video to understand the use of the themes and schemes inside asp.net and in this video we are trying to work with the concept of master pages and contained pages i can say parent page and a child page this is a very nice concept which has been developed by the asp.net See many a times you will find many of the websites some common contents are there on every page like a Facebook also on the top you will find a navigation bar will be added a user specifications are been added and it has been common for all the pages so which just means that many pages required some common content so do I require to add those content in every page or do I require to add it only once? so the concept of master page is helping us to add it only once so let's try to understand how to work with master pages so i'm creating a new project and here i would like to show the concept of master pages so master pages concept is what my name of the project a empty project has been added by me and i would like to show you the use of the master pages how to work with the master pages so first i need to create a master page is quite easy to create a master page right click select the option as add in this new visual studio you will get the option as web form with master pages web form master pages nested or as well as the option as master pages so you can just select new item also and here you can search for the master so when you select for the master you will find web form with master page it means they are contained pages they are the child pages web form master pages it means they are the main master pages and web form nested master pages in the next video we will try to understand about the nested master pages also but in this video we will try to understand only these two concept one is master page and second is a contained page so i would like to create a contained page so i'm selecting sorry a master page so i'm selecting the option as web forms master page a file has been selected as site1.master and i'd given a click on add so we'll find a site.master is being added over here right so this is the master page our regular web page is having page directive address page karke aata hai but over here you'll find address master directive is being specified what master page consists of the regular tags are been available over here but a new tag has been seen by you that is named as a contained placeholder one contained placeholder is there inside the head section which has the id called as head second contained placeholder has been added inside the body which has the id termed as contained placeholder one we are able to go for adding additional contained placeholders also inside our master page but right now whatever the content which we are adding it inside the sorry whatever the content contains which we are adding inside the master page outside the contained place holder then they are called as the common content for example i had mentioned over here maybe welcome and after the contained place holder here i am adding Uh, maybe in H2 or H3 or H4 थोड़ा सा साइज अगर मुझे कम करना है तो मैं H4 में चला जाता हूँ और यहाँ पे मैंने स्पेसिफाई कर दिया एड्रेड कॉपीराइट्स एंड सम कंटेंट्स आर बीन एडेड ओवर हियर राइट सो व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग एट द डिजाइन ऑफ दिस पेज यू कैन वेरी इजीली सी दिस वेलकम इज देयर एंड कॉपीराइट्स इन देयर एंड दिस इज माय कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर वन सो द कंटेंट्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द चाइल्ड पेजेस will get placed over here inside this contained place holder one sir ek bar dikhao karke to chalo yaar try kar lete so maine yahan pe right click kar liya aur abhi maine wapas ek bar add ki kiya add mein bol diya new item i am just searching for the option as master and now i am not using web form master page but i am using the concept as web form with the master page it means i am interested in creating the child pages so i'm creating add and selecting over here site1.master given a click on okay so this is what my site1.master child page so dekho apna regular web pages mein kya hota hai html head body sab kuch dikhta hai 
पर कंटेंट पेज में वो कुछ दिखाई देता नहीं कंटेंट पेज में आप देखोगे अपना पेज डायरेक्टिव है और यहाँ पे एट्रीब्यूट आया हुआ है दैट इज नेम मास्टर पेज फाइव सो इट शोज दैट दिस वेब फॉर्म वन इज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ साइट वन डॉट मास्टर एंड दिस वेब फॉर्म वन कंसिस्ट ऑफ दिस कंटेंट कंट्रोल एंड दिस कंटेंट कंट्रोल अगर बराबर से ध्यान दोगे तो ये इसका कंटेंट वन है इसका प्लेस होल्डर आई क्या है हेड है इसका ही मतलब आपका जो मास्टर पेज रहेगा ये मास्टर पेज में जो ये कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर है इसके अंदर कंटेंट चला जाएगा कहा का कंटेंट चला जाएगा इनके बीच में लिखेंगे वो कंटेंट चला जाएगा और इसके बीच में जो कंटेंट लिखूंगा वो कहां पे एडअप हो जाएगा एडअप हो जाएगा कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर वन के अंदर और कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर का बाहर का कंटेंट क्या है कॉमन फॉर ऑल पेजेस सो यहां पर मैंने एक सिंपल सा कंटेंट लिख दिया That this is contain page, and if you look at the design of this page, you can very easily see that this is the grade area. You can't change anything because this is the content of what your master page. So when you are running this particular web form one, what is being done by the IIS Internet Information Services, the web server app? What it does, it will be taking the content of master page. It will be taking the content of content page. फिर वो दोनों को मर्ज करेगा और फिर आउटपुट आपके क्लाइंट के सामने लेके जाएगा राइट सो व्हेन यू ट्राई टू रन दिस पर्टिकुलर पेज यू विल फाइंड द कंटेंट ऑफ मास्टर पेजेस एंड कंटेंट ऑफ कंटेंट पेजेस आर मर्ज टुगेदर एंड फाइनल आउटपुट इज बीन शोन टुवर्ड्स द यूजर सो वॉट यू विल बी हैविंग यू विल बी हैविंग द कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर्स राइट कंटेंट प्लेस होल्डर विल बी टेकिंग द कंटेंट फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड पेजेस and common contents are been taken from the master pages so this is beautiful concept of master pages and content pages let's see a small image of the master page and the content page working to ek sara image dekh lete hai agar google pe apne ko acha mila to samajhne ke liye thoda sa aasan ho jayega ha ye dekho pyara concept hai so you can see very well this is what my master page which has a common content as header i will just try to uh, increase the size of it okay just to understand it more easily so you will find this is the master page which consists of common content like a header the menus and a content place holder then this is what my content page so when the user acquires the content from the web server what web server does web server server takes the content from master page takes the content from content pages and merges them and final output is being rendered to you this is a beautiful concept called as master page and content pages so when you need to have a common content between all the pages is better create a master pages and those pages must be the child of the master page so over here we understand the basic concept of master page and content pages okay.